1707 of the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, AFSCME, for 45 years of outstanding contributions to the advancement of labor rights for thousands of New Yorkers. And whereas DC 1707 was founded as the Association of Federal Workers in 1932 by employees of the Independent Federation of Jewish Philanthropists, the IFJP. Throughout several changes in name and affiliation, Local 1707 remained dedicated to educating federal workers on their rights. In 1955, Local 1707 joined AFSCME and maintains membership to this day. And whereas DC Local 1707 pioneered labor organizing in New York City's subsidized child daycare center systems, expanding their membership to 6,000 daycare workers, as their membership and reach grew, Local 1707 reorganized into DC 1707 in 1973, which was initially comprised of four locals, national membership and fundraising organizations, Local 107, daycare employees, Local 205, social service employees, Local 215, and education employees, Local 253. And whereas in 1976, Local 1707 expanded into new territories and child care unions by organizing Local 95 for Head Start employees, which currently has more than 3,000 members. In 1987, their reach further extended to include private, nonprofit home care agencies, Local 389, now the fastest growing local in the DC 1707 family, with more than 11,500 members. And whereas, in collaboration with the Council of School Supervisors and Administrators, the CSA, and Daycare Council of New York, DC, and DCCNY, DC 1707 launched the Early Childhood Career Ladder, the ECCL, in 2018. The ECCL has used combined funding from DC 1707, Local 205, CSA, and the DCCNY to improve the quality of care for New York City children by increasing the number of certifiable child care professionals and providing financial support for those professionals who wish to further their education. Now, therefore, be it known that the New York City Council gratefully honors the members of DC 1707 in celebration of their 45th anniversary and their outstanding contributions to workers' rights in New York City. Corey Johnson, Speaker for the entire Council, Ben Kalos, Council Member, 5th District, Manhattan, I, Danique Miller, Chair, Committee on, Social, on Civil Service and Labor. Yay. So uh, I'm really proud that we're joined by many council members here today. We have council members uh, Margaret Chin, Alika Amprey Samuel, Rafael Espinal, Majority Leader Lori Cumbo, Council Member Rory Lanceman, Council Member Danny Drum, and we're going to hear <clears throat> from, um, in a moment, from Council Member Ben Kalos, who is presenting this proclamation today, and the Chair of our Civil Service and Labor Committee, Danique Miller. I want to just say we're so happy to have Kim Medina here. Uh, and the other leadership at 1707. And I want you to know that the City Council uh, is uh, supportive and will be um, we're standing with you so that your people get pay parity and then they that they need in New York City, <clears throat> which we know predominantly is affecting women of color in New York City. And with that, I want to hand it over to Councilmember Ben Kalos. Let's hear to that amazing news and that amazing support from our speaker, Corey Johnson. It is a pleasure to honor DC 1707 for 45 years of service to roughly 30,000 members. DC 1707 is the union with the biggest heart. That could be because they represent more than 300 daycare centers, almost 200 Head Start programs, not to mention home care, social service, and special needs program workers and workers at our city's most important philanthropic institutions. As a new parent with a baby who will need daycare and as a child of a parent uh, who has received home care, I cannot emphasize how important DC 1707 is to me and my family. As DC 1707 members care for our children, our homebound, and those with special needs and run our city's most important nonprofits, we have to be there for them. DC 1707 has been integral as we've rolled out universal pre-kindergarten for four-year-olds and expanded to three-year-olds working at community-based facilities. But unfortunately, as Speaker Johnson noticed, noted, child care workers are being paid different wages to do the same work. 
and we need wage parity now for public center-based child care employees. That is why I joined Executive Director Kim Medina in a massive march supported by our brothers and sisters at CSA, all the way from the tip of the Manhattan to City Hall. And it is also why I joined with our majority leader, Lori Cumbo, in sponsoring Resolution 358, which Corey Johnson passed and brought through the City Council and voted through our floor, which calls upon the City of New York to rectify a decade-long pattern of rank discrimination by paying substantial lower wages and benefits to public center-based personnel in relation to employees of the Department of Education. That, that is a big deal, and I'm so grateful to both of them. And Kim has already made her mark at DC 1707 as a member and as an executive director. Her first official act was to lower her own salary. And, and in the face of a post-Janus world, she has increased her membership from 19,000 to 30 thousand wow. members. I want to thank all the leaders of the locals. I want to thank Kim for her leadership. But most of all, like her, I want to thank the members for the work that they do to care for our city day in, day out. You deserve this. And thank you for 45 years and to another 45 years and another 45 years. Thank you, Councilmember Kahlo, Speaker Johnson, uh, Kim. Congratulations to 1707 and Brandon, who put, took the time to put together the statement. Yeah. Forget about that. I'm, I'm going to tell you, uh, it's been 45 years. I, I've been uh, uh, affiliated in some shape, form, or fashion for at least close to half of that, yeah. right? Close to half of that. And, and um, I, I started my career as a child care advocate. And where I cut my teeth, was with 1707. And Kim and I worked together, GL and Raglan and, and Josephine, and, 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 and so, and, and I was working for a different union at the time. But this is the, the, the education that they give to our children. And we talked about education to the labor movement. They have been that, that they've opened up their doors to everyone, and this, which, is, which is why um, not only are they they're caring for our most vulnerable seniors and, uh, and, and our um, young scholars, youngest scholars, but um, they are training the labor movement. And they've been steadfast and they've been uncompromising when it comes to their membership. And the fact that they are not being paid equitably is a travesty, continues to be a travesty. The commitment that the speaker is and, and the majority leader has made and, and, and the legislation that has been passed and the pay equity and all the other things that we're doing this council was absolutely committed to standing with 1707, and I am proud to be a part of a council that we're going to be here with you because you have been there with me and with all of us for so long. And so that's the personal testimony. I just want to congratulate you on 45 years of service to our young people and to our city, and look forward to 45 more years of great service. So thank you. Uh, Well-deserved proclamation. I'll hold this for you. Thank, thank you. Of course. <laughs> thank you, Majority Leader. Thank you, Councilman Kalos, my beautiful friend Lori Combo. Oh, I thank you, and Danique. We've all and all the other City Council members who have come out that I've known. We came up through the ranks together, worked hard, and put our membership and our constituents be, before us. Um, sleepless nights, running around with our babies, uh, you know. <laughs> and our children and, and family members and knowing what came before us and what we had to leave behind for those who will come up behind us. Mm -hmm. 1707 is unique. I thank the city council for the support. My daycare and Head Start teachers and even those in special needs are making tremendously less than our counterparts in the DOE. And it's a shame on our mayor who wants an early childhood initiative to move forward this is his legacy, but it will become the city council's legacy on what they do for child care. And we appreciate everything you all are doing. You recognize our home care workers who are barely making it, but they're proud to be in the union. Our daycare workers and our Head Start workers who give 
of themselves constantly. And my staff, I have to recognize my staff, who stay until late hours of the night with their own babies. They're getting home all hours. But we thank you all for giving us this. It's 45 years. And Danique is right. I think we did about 30 years <laughs> together coming up through the ranks and working on different initiatives for childcare and for special needs. I think we've hit almost everything that we need yeah. um, and that we do. So I thank you for today. It, I thank you for the wonderful support, especially with Ben and all of you. And 1707 will be in the front and we will stay in the forefront and we will continue to work with the city council and continue to be the conscience of the city. I thank you all, God bless you all and thank you for this thank moment. You. Thank you very much, let's get a picture together.
Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? Can I please have your attention, please? Quiet on the floor, please. At this time, please.